Sometimes it doesn't matter, but you always do. In a little place called Zazu, you, you matter. Yeah, you, you matter. Me too. You matter. I matter. I'm a mother's Zazu, you. One is just the number. Two can be complete. Three can be a crown in you. You can't be beat because you matter. Yeah, you. You matter. Me too. You matter. I matter. I I'm a mother's Zazu, you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. You're beautiful. Rushing me now, chill. I was hired to sing, not bring. When I took this gig, I was thinking real big. Huh. Welcome to Hollywood. Come on, Buck. Show them what you're made of. Now drop. No beat, no treat. Let's go, Buck. We ain't into this Zazu thing. <laughs> Cute birdie. Want some bird seed? Bon Appetit. Can't start a new school year alone. How you doing, Grizzle? Um, how am I doing? I was doing real good until someone found me. You seen Tess? Have I seen her? Let me tell you, the girl's everywhere. You shake a tree. <laughs> Tess, nice of you to drop in. Thanks a lot, Grizz. Give me a hand, will ya? Hey, well, there's a birdseed bag with little wings back here. Thank you, boy. You're so nice. De nada. I like nice guys. Blech. Where's the school bus when you need it? How'd you do that? Why'd you do that? Why is right. Who wants a bus? Hey, down here, chocolate cake. Doesn't work with pastry, only heavy equipment. Bulldozer? Yeah! Ew, Grizzle. I'll bet you haven't taken a bath since last year. He hasn't taken a bath since we all met in first grade. <laughs> Wanna be my gum buddy? You and me join forever in stickiness? Not if it brought water to the Sahara Desert. You are getting sleepy. You are now in my power. You are now my gum buddy. Will you not get off? Hey! I've got it. Ow! Oh, you ruined my gum. I've had this piece all summer. It was like a close friend. And I need all the friends I can get. Oh, you wouldn't. It's got my hair in it. Yuck. I don't think of it as hairy gum. I think of it as a fiber-rich diet supplement. Oh, besides, you know what they say, hair today, gum tomorrow. Boy, look at my head. Oh, wow, you're going bald. I'm not going bald. Grizzle scalped me. What am I gonna do? I got something that might help. Your little old lady. Too loud. Oh, Mark Antony, will the Roman legions never leave Egypt? Too old. Yo, I'm alive and well in Bosco with my chauffeur, James Dean. It's two fifties. Hey, how's it look? It's... it's you. I like Cleopatra better. Actually, I liked her bald. <coughs> <coughs> I told him I wanted to move to the country. <coughs> Not move the country. Oh, I hated that. What was that? Live action kids. Very rare. You gotta keep an eye out for them. 
And I, I'm keeping both eyes out for them, and an arm, both legs, my liver, and my gum! Better ditch that gum, Grizz. Schools have rules. Even this one. I'll be back. Oh, please! My shoe stuck in gum on the very first day of school. Oh, of all the unmitigated gall. What a, what a, kiss kill mo Yes, yes, that's it. Oh, fortunately, my training at the purebred Winifred Beauty Academy prepared me for such a disaster. Voila! <laughs> Once again, fashion triumphs. Just put your mind to it. That's what minds are for. <laughs> Come, Rafi, poo poo, snooky, your gums. <laughs> Education calls. Oh, no, 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 sweetie pet. Not between meals. Oh, please do hurry, Slogo. We are late. School. Who needs it? Let's go back to circus and practice tumbling. <coughs> hey, do you understand Dr. Beginning Russell this with year? Nope. You know, the first time I met Dr. Russell, I asked him where the boys' room was. So what happened? I don't know. I fell asleep after 40 minutes. Hey, where's Bully? Don't know. Ask Grizzle. Hey, Grizzle, wake up! <laughs> what? Uh, is Dr. Russell's class over already? Why do I feel like I'm in a Christmas tree lot? Have you seen Bully? Is he going to be here this year? Yeah, he'll be here. Probably had piano trouble. They won't let him bring it on the bus. Night test. Boink. Stairs. Stairs are a problem. Oh, hi, Chopper. Back for another year, huh? Well, I'll see you later. I've got to get this piano up the stairs. Nice kid. Yeah, so long, Chomper. Wonder why they call him Chomper. Hot work. This isn't in my contract. Must be something in the piano. Oh, a lot of music in this old piano. I like it. What else is in here? Oh, long song. Whole note. Mm, nice. Anything else in here? I always pictured it a little differently. Well, better find a way out. I'm late for class as it is. What a great hallway! The perfect place to practice tumbling! Presenting the fanatical, aerobitical, two brothers who are unsebatabicable, the flying Bonito brothers! Hi! I mean to do that. Hi! Ta da! Hi! Truthfully, I think we had better be finding a teacher. Bad news. Background blues. Bad news. Background blues. Hey, you want to see a magic trick? Come on, Grizz, no time to be shy. One laugh, and I shave your dogs. You know, you look cute. I mean, really cute. So for my first trick, I'm gonna pull a rabbit out of this hat. After this, I may take up the flute. Well, I was hoping for a rabbit. Well, lose a few, lose a few. Hiya, Tess. Grizz, Mr. Drumsticks, music was, is, and, and always, always will be. Still going for the record, ha, huh, Grizz? Adios. A uh, nice dress. This is starting to look like a garage sale for rabbits. If I don't find a rabbit soon... It's all in the wrist, boink. Watch and learn. 
Oh, yeah, you can learn a lot from a walking garbage can in a tutu. Shows how much you know. I've got the fuzzy wuzzy cute little rock. Oh, now this is living another year of rarf ragging. You think Grizzle will catch him? Yeah, it's what he does best. You can run, but you can't hide. when you thought it was safe to go back in the water. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been this happy. But then I lead a simple life. The Easter Bunny. Can we talk? I still got all the Easter eggs from last year and there's a funny smell coming from my closet. <laughs> Look guys, Rarf on a stick. <laughs> Those live action kids are deadly. Where's Rarf? Portable scene. I think he got away. Nice shirt. Why, thank you, young man. <laughs> Rafi, I've been looking all over for you, my little pancake. <laughs> now run along, students. It's time for class, and they'll come back. You know, in all my years here, I've never had a class with Miss Divine. I have you? Uh-uh, not me. Maybe she teaches night school. Bulldozer! Yo, Buck, what's up? This thing's growing faster than... What happened? Oh, dear. What have I done? I hope I don't get in trouble for this. Been a long, hot summer, eh, Mr. Seymour? Oh, hi, Boink. Certainly has. Nothing but reruns, reruns, reruns. Well, it's cool, Mr. Seymour. We're back. Look, our geography teacher is on the TV. Uh-uh, he's in TV. He crossed the wrong wires last year and he's been trapped in TV land ever since. So what's her first lesson, Mr. Seymour? Lovely Bora Bora or mysterious Madagascar? Not those old things again. I'm bored with Bora Bora and mad at Madagascar. Sorry, Mr. Seymour. Geography's history. It's lunchtime. Getcha. And I forgot to hand out home. Lunch! Who are these guys? Hey, Boink, what's on today's menu? Tuna, Tuna surprise! surprise? Yeah! Hey, surprise. No tuna. No, no tuna. tuna! That's the surprise. Tuna surprise and make it a double. <laughs> mm, tasty stuff, Barkeep. 
Oh man, I can't even stink in bread. How's that, partner? Uh, I said, thanks, Grizzle the Kid. I did like these things that keep sneaking up on me at night. Howdy, ma'am. You must be the new school marm. How did you know? Because you look just like the old one. You just said the secret wife. Hold it! This is my fantasy and I'm supposed to get all the laughs. I mean, I certainly hope so. <laughs> Give me three fingers of milk, you rustic cowboy comic sidekick old coot. Yep, yep. Coming right up, kiddo. Three fingers of moo. Here you go, kid. When I drink, everybody drinks. Yes, milk builds muscles, healthy teeth, and strong bones. And, and it's great in shakes, too. <laughs> hey, what's so funny? Well, here is me. And boy, am I in need of nutrition. Slogo, you're a little bit late. And great. Good, you can take out the garbage. Uh, uh, so, where do I dispose of it? Yes, a silly question. Yes, as I play! marks the spot. It started right there. Somebody's bubble gum flew through the air. It flipped and it flopped till it finally plopped and started the pile the moment it stopped. Alone in the grass, the bubble gum stuck till somebody stepped in that pile of yuck. But nobody stopped to pick up their shoe as it stuck in the grass in that pile of goo. Nobody stopped and nobody knew who lost a shoe? I didn't. Did you? Higher and higher, the pile just grew with everything somebody nobody knew threw. I didn't do it, so don't look at me. But up on the pile was a big snickersnee. And I never knew what a snickersnee was, what a snickersnee is, or what a snickersnee does. But a snickersnee is, and a snickersnee was on top of the pile in a big ball of fuzz. And little by little, one toss at a time, higher and higher the pile did climb. The pile that started with somebody's gum, but nobody thought would ever become the pile that's higher than any around, got started with bubble gum thrown on the ground. Little by little, one toss at a time, without any reason, without any rhyme, not all at once, but once in a while, things can add up to a nine-mile pile. Just when they will is anyone's guess. But when they do, it's a nine-mile mess. Dr. Russell, what can we do? As Voltaire extrapolated in Candide, il faut cultiver notre jardin. In translation, we must tend our own garden. 
That's a big job. We're gonna need some heavy equipment. <laughs>